information tonight in the death of a 14-year-old from Bel Air who was hit by a car while crossing a busy intersection. Good evening, everyone. I'm Roosevelt Leftwich. The incident has affected hundreds of people who knew and loved Joey Dontremont. He was a freshman at Falston High, a football player, and a very good musician. Cheryl Connor has more from a family member and the ongoing investigation. And Rosie, we have learned the State Highway Administration is looking into whether the pedestrian lights were working Friday night when Joey D'Entremont tried to make it across Route 24. He lived just 14 years, but he clearly touched hundreds of lives. Stopping by the growing memorial, reality sets in. The young friends of Joey D'Entremont are faced with going on without him. Friends, former teammates, neighbors, so many people continue to leave notes. Like this one, you were more angel than human, and God wants his angels in heaven. His uncle says the family is leaning on their faith. God is the giver and the taker of life, and he has, a, he has something that he wanted to do with Deon Tremont was trying to cross Route 24 at Red Pump Road Friday night. Investigators say he was crossing against the light. The 19-year-old driver hit him and Deon Tremont died at the hospital. The pedestrian lights are on now, but state police received a number of complaints that they weren't working on Friday. The State Highway Administration is investigating. As soon as I heard it, it's like my, ne my legs went like numb because it was just such a shock because such a great kid. Friends are wearing his favorite color blue. Dion Tremont was number 30 on the Faustin High School football team and was a singer in a local band. Though his voice is now silent, there are so many people willing to speak about his young life. Joey was saved and he belongs there with God, with all the angels. Like like I said, he's not of this world. Like he's too good for for here. As for the driver, the family recognizes what he must feel. We know that it wasn't on purpose and we would accept him with open arms. Investigators say there are no plans to charge the driver. There is expected to be a large turnout tomorrow for the viewing. It will be held at Mountain Christian Church in Joppa from 6 until 9 and Wednesday from 10 a.m. until noon. The funeral will follow. Cheryl O'Connor, ABC2 News.